Hey everybody, Heavy Bolter here, uh, tinywarriors.blogspot.com, and I'm going to do a little demo tonight on making your own power cables from wire. Um, I'm basically going to show you the technique that I used to make the power cords, power cables for this conversion here, um, and compare it to guitar string, which most people use for power cord. Um, this is a dem This is an example of guitar string right here. And it, as anybody who's ever used it knows, it's incredibly hard to bend. And you can see here, I bent the piece for these two power cables. And then the alternative was I created my own using a jewelry technique called coiling, which is simply coiling a piece of wire around another wire. And you can see here, this is one that I made myself and it's a lot more flexible and then I made these little pieces here and here and this guy here and I actually used um, to make these bigger cables uh, you can actually make them any size you want so whatever size cable you buy wire uh, wire you buy um, you know that's what you can use I mean at the time for this white one back here this was uh, wire a big spool of uh telecom wire that i had at work and i was fiddling around with it and it actually worked out pretty good because it was a nice big thick you can see it's plastic coated but it's a very thick wire so it's great for this spot right here that i made so it actually helped this conversion come out real nice i think um, i'm going to start by showing you how to make your own little device to coil the cable uh, quite simply. Um, if you look up on YouTube or just Google something called a coiling gizmo, it's a tool that people use to coil wire for jewelry making. So what I did was I kind of copied the, uh, the design of one of the elements of it and created a little small miniature handheld version of it out of a paper clip. And I'm going to show you how to fashion this. And first, let me demo how this works. Uh, I'm going to use a small piece of wire. You can get this at hobby craft stores, uh, arts and crafts places, whatever. It comes in a spool like this. Uh, I think it's copper, but I'm not sure. It probably is. I'm not sure what gauge this is. It might be 24 gauge. but is the thickness and you see it's very flexible and as you can see uh, this is an actual finished piece with some blue wire and you can see how flexible it actually is so you can really work with this and do some interesting things by using different sizes of wire here's a real thick big wire uh, copper wire I mean a thick cable you can see how thick it, it actually looks in comparison against the mini and then there's the other end of that spectrum, which is a much thinner wire. And you can see that's a little closer to the guitar string size. Still a little big, but it's definitely workable. And, and you can see how flexible. I mean, you can coil this up. It's very, very bendable. And, I mean, you can't do that with guitar wire, okay? Um, all right, so I'm gonna show you how to fashion your own little gizmo tool and basically start with a paper clip straighten it out straighten it out like so you get this piece like that so you get this and then grab yourself a pair of pliers and what you want to do is create the kink so what I did was let's see can get here like this, and then kick it like that. So you got that so far. Grab it with the pliers. And then can't get back up. Right, let's see if I can get that just right. So there's basically, uh, it's a little different from what I did here. It's a little reversed actually. 
Ah, I know why, because I bent it the wrong way. So I bent it this way instead. So there. So there's my kink. And the kink acts as an anchor for the wire. Here's my wire. Put it in the kink like that, wrap it around. So there's your anchor. And then you start to come from under. You can see better there. You come from under and then start the first few wraps around the wire like that. And then use your pliers to tighten up the coil a little bit. You can see there. So there's your start. So then straighten out the wire a little bit. And then the trick is you gotta get this pinch going. Alright, so I don't like there. I just straightened out the uh, the anchor a little bit. But it's there to keep it in place. So what you do is now now you have that wrapped like that. And then you start to if you hold it, just I put my finger first finger behind it like this and then I put my thumb here like this as a brace kind of and then just start to spin this wrap rotate it and as you see it starts to coil maybe you can see it better there with that light so finger behind it like that thumb right there Create that little pinch and it's kind of like the same motion if you were opening using an old-fashioned can opener and then you can see if it gets a little spread like that push it back with your pliers so you do your can opener motion wire only just like that finger there finger there can opener Every once in a while, you gotta stop and just push it down. And you just keep twisting. And there. You got a little gap. Give it a little squeeze. And there's a cable. So, I mean, you can use a longer length, and you take it, slide it right off your paper clip. I like to clip the ends. Power cable. Now, once you do that, you want to cut another piece of uh, your cable, your wire, sorry, I keep calling it cable, just getting so used to it, and just run it through the center, and that's it, I mean this is a short one, but you can keep going as long as, you know, as long as you need to. So that is how to make your own non-guitar string flexible power cable. And you can see if you bend it too much, I mean, they're gonna spread out, but you can tighten up the coils. And again, this is just a jewelry technique called coiling. So you can look that up see people doing it with larger scale ones but this is a nice tiny scale and this is uh here i'll show you how big that looks it's a bigger power cable but you can use it like i said use different gauges of cable of what cable damn it different ca ga gauges of wire this is a thinner gauge uh this is probably i think 18 or something like that maybe even 16 and that'll get you a really 
thin coil in comparison. And, you know, if you want to get a thinner paper clip, you can do that to fashion your little, little tool. So that's doing it by hand. Another cool thing that I figured out was doing it by power drill. So what I did with this was a little different. Um, took a piece of brass rod instead. And kind of did a similar thing, bent the, bent the end. But this is more meant for going into the, oh, what do you call that? The end of the screwdriver, you know, whatever the hell that's called, I forgot. Boy, it was on the tip of my tongue and I forgot what it was. So I take this piece here and I do the same thing. I basically tie up the cable into the little hook, loop it back, and then I like to start it by hand. Like that. Call it. That's the word. And I open up the collet on my drum, my drill, power drill. And this is actually kind of fun because you can do a fast, big one, fast. And then I don't go too fast. Oop, in the wrong direction. Make sure you go in the right direction. But still, I press my finger up against there to guide it. And this is actually really fast and fun to do. But if you do it this way, you can speed it up. Boom. Look at that. I hate that. I gotta stop saying boom. Okay, so now I gotta get the collet open. And. Yeah, so this is now on a piece, the piece of uh, brass rod, but you can use whatever. You can just, you know, just make that kink on the end. Some people's uh, power screwdriver, I mean, mine is a big one, but see, mine doesn't close all the way. But the one that I have at work is a Black & Decker, and it actually does close all the way, so you can even not even have to do anything special as far as the kink, just put the paper clip or brass rod right down the middle and then this comes right off coil little tiny coil take it run your wire up the middle Got fat fingers, man. And there's a power cord, power cable. Totally do it yourself, totally cheap, and totally easy. And way better than guitar string. Because you can make as much as you need, fast and flexible. Look at that. flexi power all right that's it power cables homemade easy bend your paper clip or take your paper clip cut it right here stick it in your screwdriver call it and spin away okay that's all for now thank you very much